Hello and welcome uh, to Happy Chthonian. I'm Christoph Rochelle, here to give a demo of my uh, newest character generator, All Dice 2, Haunted House System Neutral Character Generator. So it gives a character that's kind of a class and background and then a whole bunch of gear. So if you want to add stats to it, you can. You could just run it with Adventure Hour or another, you know, no stats, low stats game. But the stuff it gives you is usable in any system uh, that you might want to use, and it's a good foundation for a character. It's especially for haunted houses, like this spooky number here. Maybe it's Willoughby Hall with an ominous cloud giant in the background. I especially recommend uh, that adventure. Here's all the doobly-doos on the back, but we don't need to look at that because I'm going to explain it right now. Whoosh. It's supposed to be really uh, new player friendly, so there are pictures of each of the dice, and then the sub tables that come later are color coded. So if you roll blue here, then you roll on the blue tables uh, later on. I'll show you what I mean. First, we'll roll each of these four types of dice and come up with a character. All right, all right. I'm an optimist. That's my role and my goal make everyone happy. Kind of like real life. <laughs> uh, my weapon, a slingshot. Expeditionary gear, 14. A pet dog. Ooh, doesn't like to have that. And magic item 12 is a cloud in a jar. Well, so I'm going on with my pet dog, my slingshot, my cloud in a jar, and trying to make everyone happy. Then we go to page 3-4 uh, to get the next two dice. Remember, it is all dice. And each of these spreads has like pictures of what uh, such a subclass or archetype would look like, and a cute little quote at the top. So here's the optimists. And let's finish making this character. Four makes me a musician with an accordion. Uh, any likeness to actual famous accordionists is purely coincidental. And a deed to the manor. All right, so this person actually owns the manor, the haunted house that they're going into. Uh, how will that change how things go. If that sounds like a good time to you, it's not high-powered, is isn't superpowers or feats, but if you've got a system where that kind of thing's going on, you can always tack that on top. What this gives you is a bunch of uh, potential, a bunch of interesting artifacts and colorful characters that I think will really make any kind of game interesting. Two more things, uh, things that have charges to them or limited charges have a Number in parentheses, so the prince with an ice cream wand can only cast ice creamy spells three times. And then things that are protective or provide armor are bolded. Battered shield is bolded. Cape is bolded. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much it. I'll show you a little bit more of the illustrations here. And if this goofy character generator system tickles your fancy, then why don't you go pick it up at internets near you.